This one is bitter nut hickory. Bitter nut. And it has a compound leaf, but probably the most leaflets of any of the hickories. This will have sevens and a lot of nines. There's two, four, six. That one's got nine on the ground right there. So seven to nine. You could, I, I'm quite sure, probably even get an 11. Nine's probably the most common. And you can kind of remember hickories, or it can at least split them. Like, oh, it can't be pig nut because this has seven and nines. But you may not be able to get it right down to the exact species, but you can certainly eliminate stuff. So at the end of the day, you probably want to go back and make a little table of the four hickories, thick husks or not, how many leaflets, and a few other little things about it. Uh, one of the most important features of this tree is it's got a yellow bud. And they can be anywhere from very bright yellow like to sort of like brown mustard. This is sort of in between. They, they can be as brightly painted looking <laughs> as your double yellow line, that color. They can be pretty yellow at times. This is the only hickory that's going to have a yellow bud. And this is the thinnest husks. Again, when you're doing the first one, you don't have nothing to compare it with. So this is very, very thin. And on top of that is where the <laughs> suture lines are, where that was, where I was peeling it. If you look on a bitternut hickory, at the tops of it, at the suture lines, they're raised up. They're winged or keeled. They're up. And I'll pass this one around. So you look at the top of them and you'll see, you can feel it's raised, raised up. That could be helpful too. Now, the nuts, using the nuts aren't always that good, but this one has the thinnest of any that you'll have. All the other hickories, if you try to break them, you're going to break your hand. These, you can usually crush. You do that with the other ones, literally, you need a hammer or two rocks. So these are thin, and the insides, I kind of think, look a bit like brains. They're very, 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 very bitter. <laughs> bitter nut, like almost repulsively bitter. <laughs> this is the older one's not bad. Yeah, I don't know. They're kind of rotten when they're... Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> they will, it gets washed out. Yeah. But it's just kind of a shame because they're a super meaty thing. These are closely related to pecans or closer to a pecan. There's a ton of meat in there, but then it's just horrible. So a lot of the trees in the woods will just be a smooth gray bark. So that's, that's about as furrowed as they'll get on a really, really big one. I doubt you'll ever see one this big maybe in your lives. Okay, this is a really, really large uh, hickory. Uh, it is native and it's common in moist areas like where we were last week. That's known as mesic. Xeric is dry, that's Arizona. Mesic is moist but well drained. Hydric soil is flooded. So in short, you got to make sure alternate or opposite. And I, I got it established that it is alternate. And then you find a, if you find a yellow bud, stop thinking. If it's a really, really tall tree, you scour the ground looking for husks. And you look, oh, they're very, very thin. If you find actually a nut, you can look at the thickness of that and say, oh, it's, it's awfully thin. This has got to be a bitter nut.